problem we had was not being able to load torque liners efficiently. Uh, um, we couldn't load torque, a torque liner with a scissor clamp because the scissor clamp would, wouldn't clear the pack of blocks without impacting the roof of the torque liner. In order to get around that, we have to prepare the load before the arrival of the vehicle, which means a number of manual handling movements, setting out pallets, prepping the load with blocks on pallets before the arrival of the truck. That adds additional safety implications to working in the yard. Then we had a thought and asked, is it possible to, to build a clamp that allows the, that part of the, the grab to retract out of the way, which would then allow us to lift the, the, clamp, truck high, the clamp higher and clear the blocks. That concept was put to uh, B&B attachments, managing director Neil Fowler. His uh, design engineers managed to come up with a solution which uh, met all the criteria um, to achieve that element of it. The solution is uh, very simple. The, um, we now have a retractable element on both the, of the grabs, which allows them to retract up out of the way with sufficient clearance to clear the top of the blocks without the clamp impacting the roof of the torque liner truck. After the design process was achieved, that was, seemed to be the, the simple part. The difficult part was the, the knowledge that that added additional control requirements of, of the forklift trucks for the operators to use. And that became a concern with the safety elements and the additional controls um, involved in jumping from one vehicle to this new style, operating this new style of clamp. Clearly the safety concern was incorrect selection of uh, one of the controls where from many years of operating in a standard way, almost like a piano player where they, uh, they know where to, which keys to select. The same thing could happen with um, one of the trucks where through habit they, they make an incorrect selection which could be pretty devastating. So we decided to go down the route of more instinctive and automated locking or selection protocols built into the control systems. The main control that we were concerned about is the retraction, is that we didn't want to retract, uh, the operator to be able to retract the grab while, the, uh, while it was holding a pack of blocks. We also didn't want the operator to try and pick up a, a couple of packs of blocks while that was retracted so that was the main focus of the controls. So we've eliminated the need to prepare loads before the arrival of the torque liners. We no longer have personnel on foot in the yard having to carry out manual handling tasks and additionally we've uh, no longer need to use a forklift um, in addition uh, to the, um, the clamp truck fleet that we've got within the yard.